Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be talking about what is the largest square that we can fit inside a given circle. This is a problem that we can solve with a little bit of cleverness and some simple geometry. So let's say we have a circle of a certain radius, r. Inside this circle we want to know what is the largest square we can fit in this circle. So obviously the largest square is going to be touching the circle at all four corners. Okay, so we basically wanted to know what is the length of one of our four sides of the square within the circle. But where do we begin? This is a fun little problem, so maybe take a minute here and give it a try for yourself. And see if you can figure out an equation that will solve for our missing side of A. So, we know what the diameter of our circle will be because we were given the radius, right? The diameter is just two times our radius. So let's draw our diameter of our circle across the diagonal of our square. Now you can notice that we have a right triangle that formed. And because we have a right triangle, we can apply Pythagorean's theorem, which states that side A squared plus B squared is going to equal side C, or our diameter, squared. Now, since we still don't know both sides A and B, we have two unknowns in only one equation. Does this mean we're stuck? Well, no, we just have to be a little bit clever. We notice that A and B must be equal as we are solving for a square. Therefore, we can say that A is equivalent to B. Now we can plug that in to Pythagorean's theorem and see that 2A squared is equal to C squared. Taking the square root of both sides of our equation leaves us with the square root of 2 times A equals C. Dividing by our square root of 2, we find that the largest square side that we can fit within this circle is going to be the diameter of our circle over root 2. And we can use this equation to solve for many things about this problem, such as the area of the square, the area of the circle minus the square, or many other things. So let's do a couple fun quick examples. Let's say that we have a circle of diameter 10. What is the area of the largest square that we can fit within this circle? Well, let's apply our newly learned formula. 10 over root 2 is going to be 7.07. .07. Since we are asked for the area of the square and not just the square's side length, we must multiply side A by side B, but remember that they are exactly the same. Therefore, the area of the largest square that we can fit in a circle of diameter 10 is just about 50. Let's do one final question. What is the area of a circle not covered by the largest square fit inside that circle, where the circle has a diameter of 5? Alright, so we need to find this area I have shaded here. So to find this, we take the area of our circle minus the area of our square. So just like before, we find the side length of our square, which is 5 over root 2, which is equal to 3.54. Then we need the area of both shapes. So for the square again, we multiply 3.54 times itself, which is 12.5. And the area of our circle is pi times the radius squared. Therefore, we have 19.63. Lastly, we must minus the area of the circle from the area of the square and we are left with 7.134. Thank you for checking out this video. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and consider checking out our Patreon page to support the channel. However, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the information I provided in this video, please leave a comment down below, and I will do my best to address your concerns.